Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Excel video, I'm still going to do some conditional formatting, which has been very popular. I'll put references to my last two conditional formatting videos down in the description below. But I want to use icon sets with conditional formatting in this video. So I've got 12 months of the year, got two different years listed in column B and column C. I would like to find out the what is the percentage change. Let's just take C2, divide it by B2 and subtract 1. Control Enter, 5%. Double click, there you go. So there are the percentages. But I really want to just see an up or down arrow. So D2 to D13 is selected. Conditional formatting. If you notice, you've got some icon sets right here. There are some arrows here. I could use shapes. I could use stop signs. This is called a live preview that's working when I mouse over these. I'm going to go ahead, and if you want to, you can click this one here. That is not what I want. If I go to conditional formatting and hit manage rules, it's already made a rule because I selected one of the icon sets. You can change the icon sets right here on this drop down. I'm going to stick with these, but I don't want these based on percentages. I actually want them based on a number. So green pointing up if the value is greater than or equal to zero. And then yellow, again, make it number. Less than zero and greater than equal to zero. And then red, so if I hit OK, let's watch what happens. Hit OK. You could hit apply, which I just did. <laughs> and there we go right there and hit OK there. Uh, just to prove this, if I make this one right here, 100 also. Notice it goes green, so if you want it to be yellow, since it's exact match, back to manage rules. I just want to cover this, edit the rule. What you do here is, sorry, the green is going to be greater than zero. The yellow is going to be greater than or equal to. So now I should get yellow for the 100 matching the 100, row number five. Again, I am going to hit apply here, and you can look at it over in column D. So there's example number one. I'm going to leave it here and hit OK. One other tip. Manage rules, edit. If you didn't want to see the percentages, show icon only is an option. You just check it, hit OK, hit OK, and you can even maybe center those right there. So that looks pretty good. Example number two, I'm just going to do a quick copy and paste. I'm going to lose 2022 because I intentionally made them all 100. So here we go now. I want to know what is the percentage change from January to Feb, Feb to March, March to April. So again, same formula except we're referencing one month over another. Still subtracting one. Let's make it a percentage. Uh, there we go. Double click. So R2 should not have anything in it. That's our base month or base period. Same steps right here. Conditional formatting. I'm just going to go right to manage rules since you know what I'm doing now. New rule. Icon sets are going to be right here. What icon set do you want? I'm going to go with the stop signs this time. Green, yellow, and red. Same steps, number and number. You could do percentages if you want to. Greater than zero, green. Good, hit OK. Hit OK, and there you go, right there. Just to test something. 106, 106. So I don't like that one. Always test your data. I wanted that one to go yellow. Edit rule. Same step I did before. Now that will go yellow right there. There you go. That's all I've got for you for today. Feel free to subscribe. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. And again, the other two conditional formatting videos that I just recently did are down below, but I probably have about eight or nine conditional formatting videos. 
I'll put those down below also. Thank you. Appreciate your time.